everybody it's me katina again coming to you with a video today that's going to be a little more serious because most of the time i try to keep it light and airy but i want to really address today like getting very fast help for your mental health issues if you're having a crisis right now i want you to know exactly what information could help you if you need to get help right away I know firsthand what it's like to have to get help for mental health issues and needing it emergency help because there was a time that even though I'm sitting here right now looking like I have it all together, I don't, don't be fooled. There was a time when I was really in a mental health crisis. I was not really leaving the house. I didn't know what to do. I had let my symptoms with OCD and anxiety get to a really bad place and I needed help really, really bad. So what's the first thing you should do? You shouldn't be waiting for a long time to get the help like I did. I sat for a few weeks and let my symptoms spiral downward. If you see that you're having a relapse or you're starting to feel really bad, I would say put it in check as soon as possible. So the first thing you should do is if you are not sure who is around you, or you don't have a regular person that you go to, like a psychologist or psychiatrist, then perhaps you should try NAMI. It's the National Alliance on Mental Health and Illness. So NAMI is a place that helped me when I was really at my lowest. I wasn't really able to call around and find places to go because my OCD symptoms were really bad. And part of my OCD has to deal with seeking help. So that's one of the reasons why I needed to kind of have a one-stop shop place that would help me find someone. And NAMI was that place. They actually will give you resources and give you numbers and also give your number to people that can help you and they will reach out to you and contact you once they figure out what it is that you need. So I would really try NAMI if you are having an emergency what NAMI will do, if you can't um, yourself go someplace, I believe that they can have someone come out to your house, which was something that I was really considering, considering the fact that I didn't really want to go see anyone. And so if you're someone who needs that, perhaps they could have something that works for you with someone to come out to you and speak to you and get sources, resources, I'm sorry, and things for you right there in your own home. If you are also looking for a psychiatrist or a psychologist, they can refer you to someone or set you up with someone in their network or people that they know so that you can also do that. If you um, having any problems at all, there are so many other organizations that you could try out. That's just one that I have experience with. They were really nice. The person who I was working with was really nice. For the most part, they helped me to get over the hump of where I was and try to move myself into a better place. So please be aware of that organization. And if you know of others, which I know there's so many, and if you have been helped by one, please, uh, please leave it in the comments because people will go there and read and they can see and be helped by this information. That is the purpose of this all, to help you. So I want you to know that, like, please share, comment, like, subscribe. I want to also tell you with OCD, if you have OCD and you have severe symptoms, severe rituals, compulsions, things that are keeping you from going through your daily life, and you really need some instant help and you're kind of leery about going to a psychologist or psychiatrist right now what could help you and what helped me was reading books the two books that really helped me uh, the first book was called stop obsessing this book provides all kinds of details and antidotes for people who have ocd and gives you instant things that you can do to kind of take a hold of your symptoms and your compulsions and rituals and really help yourself. Also, the second book is called Brain Lock. This book really helped me and a lot of the techniques 
really worked for me. So those are two books that can provide instant help for you. That and also again with NAMI and so many other organizations that are out there. There's the National um, OCD organization. You can try them. There's so many. All of these are listed in my description. I have all kinds of resources listed. Go there. You can find the number for NAMI. And also there's going to be so much more information. The books will be listed with the authors. So you, you want to go and buy those books or download them. You will be able to do that also if you look in the description. So please, if you're having a crisis, if you're not feeling well, go do something, call somebody, get the help. It will make a world of a difference in your life. And don't let it get to a point where it's really extreme and horrible like I have done so many times. Take it from me. When you see it happening or you see it spiraling, just go and just do it. Call someone. Call these different organizations that I have listed or get the books. Do something to help yourself. Please take care of yourself. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, about any of the organizations, or if you want to know more about my experience with NAMI, feel free to comment below. I will answer and like and subscribe and come back and share your experiences so that other people can be helped too. Take care of yourself and I will talk to you next time. Bye.